Well, I guess let's just start with the green and gold meet. Uh, you know, yeah. a meet like that, an opportunity to kind of see where your team is at the beginning of the season. Is there, you know, a little bit of competitiveness that goes on with the teams and kind of, you know, getting ready for the season? Yeah, for sure. Um, sometimes it can be uh, really competitive. And it's the first time that they get to race. We have a really young team this year. We have um, like 13 freshman women and nine incoming men. So um, a moment for them to like see where their place is at as well. We make it a fun competition too. We do other um competitions associated with green and gold we have like a two week different um opportunities and different things we do um like a kick set like diving games and and different things and i think it helps really bring together our team as well to like set us up for now this next part of the season where we race other teams and then when we talk about those other teams this upcoming weekend uh, yeah Cloud state and davenport uh, your thoughts on Yeah, that. I'm really excited for this weekend. I think that we're ready. Um, they've been training really well, and it was a beautiful day yesterday. So we had a little beach day. Got them a little bit recovered because we really just finished the end of a hard training block. And so get them recovered here this week and get ready to race this weekend. Um, St. Cloud men is in our GLIAC conference, um, but the women are always, you know, top in the northern sun. So they're going to have... They're going to come ready to go, and um, Davenport uh, will be ready to go, too. They, I know they um, have some really good men brushstrokers coming back. They were both at NCAAs, and um, they, will, they will have talent as well. So I'm excited to see what they have and excited to see what our team can do when, um, you know, it's other teams on the line now and really come together all together instead of, you know, green versus gold. So um, I think they're looking forward to it as well. And then, Coach, just one more for me. With with the young team, is there kind of extra preparation that goes in and say, hey, this is what it's going to be like on competition yes. day and, you know, keeping the nerves calm and, like, if they have questions or things like that, what extra kind of goes in? Yeah, for sure. And, you know, and that's one of the biggest reasons we do green and gold and have that inner squad because we actually take them through exactly what we do. You know, we have a pre – pre-meet warm-up where we get together and do dynamic warm-up. We kind of like, you know, gets a little bit of the jitters out and we all do some movements and talk a little bit and then they go swim or dive warm-up and then we get together again in our team room right before and then we walk out of the team room together to the fight song. So that green and gold really sets us up so they know what's going to happen and we always do a team cheer right after the national anthem and then the relay starts. So that's a big reason why we do that too because now they know they should what happens and the timeline and how it looks and um, that and the other thing too get them ready for uh, we call a sudden change and I took that from a longtime head coach at University of Michigan he talks about that with his swim teams too like you have to be ready for um, maybe you're not in this event and all of a sudden we need you and I have to switch you and somebody is not feeling good that morning and so we have to switch the whole lineup and switch these relays and uh even during the meet i'm allowed to make changes up until kind of before the race so if it looks like um we need to make a switch and things aren't going our way and we need to be stronger in a different event and um, that we can do that so we talk a lot about being ready for that kind of change and just being ready to go for whatever needs to be done